everybody what's going on just have a video here that i just want to react to from it's from brian Lilly, just talking about how pierre polyev will be much tougher than justin trudeau on immigration so let's have a look at this and then we'll talk about it after like usual how does a man who was allegedly part of an isis mutilation terror video get into canada and then get canadian citizenship good questions we need answers hi i'm brian Lilly, political columnist for the toronto sun Ahmed El Didi is part of the father-son duo that was charged with a terror plot two weeks ago. According to police, he and his son wanted to carry out an attack on Toronto's Jewish community. It was foiled, thankfully, although we only got the tip off due to an ally. We didn't discover this ourselves. Good work to the cops who traced this, made the arrests. Not so good a job for our intelligence agencies that should have been on the lookout. But that's another story. Let's talk about getting into Canada when you have allegedly been part of a terror video. Mr. El Didi reportedly was part of an ISIS terror video where a man was on a cross, involved in an ISIS issues crucifixion a lot, and he's mutilating the guy's body. And somehow this just slips by when he gets to Canada and applies for citizenship. Justin Trudeau was asked about it. He talked about process. Here's his answer. Is the issue that you are not sure as to how this person came to Canada or just not willing to share at this point what you know? We are uh, proceeding in a proper and thorough investigation on exactly how this happened, and we will share with Canadians at the appropriate moment. Taking it very seriously, let's talk about the process, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's words. There should be outrage, but I didn't hear it there. This, on the other hand, is Pierre Polyev, conservative leader, who showed what I think is the proper righteous anger at these events happening. Justin Trudeau spends our resources trying to ban plastic straws and hunting rifles while he, he opens our borders up to potential terrorists and other security risks. We have, in this case, an alleged ISIS terrorist who seems to have appeared in a video mutilating another human being, cutting another human being to pieces on a crucifix in the Middle East, and then this person who allegedly did this act was granted access to this country and has been newly charged with another alleged terrorist offense on our soil. Justin Trudeau is not worth the risk and the danger. His radical, reckless policies are putting Canadian lives at risk. A Polyev-led, common-sense conservative government will secure our borders to keep the terrorists out and keep our nation strong and free. Now, which leader, based on their reactions, do you think is best equipped to handle situations like this and prevent them <clears throat> in the future? I'll tell you which one I don't think it is. Justin Trudeau. What about you, though? Drop a comment down below. Yeah, so... and. You know, that, that's the thing, right? I mean, you, you have <laughs> you have Justin Trudeau just kind of la-di-da. Well, you know, uh, Canadians will find out at the appropriate time. I think now's the appropriate time. And Pierre Polyev, like Lily said, it shows actual, shows actual, you know, compassion and anger and like an urgency for these issues, right? Like where Justin Trudeau is just like, yeah, we'll just, and we're not going to make any changes. We're just going to keep the border open. And of course, not all migrants are terrorists, but some are, and they're not checking. They're letting in someone from ISIS into this country. And you're going to please tell me I'm wrong when I say that Trudeau is evil, not stupid. Of course, this is all happening on purpose. He's letting all these things. He's essentially letting this country just be destroyed. Anything bad that can happen to a country is happening in Canada. And it's happening in droves. High crime, uh, high rent, an unsustainable um, housing market. You have massive inflation. An overrated economy, that's for sure. There's jobs, but they're not well-paying jobs. They don't have good benefits either. Violent crimes on the right, carjacking. I mean, immigration's out of control. The national debt's out of control. It's just, it's everything that could be, that is a bad thing, is happening under Justin Trudeau. At least when Harper was prime minister, it was cheaper and it was safer here to live in Canada. He wasn't perfect, but it's... It's not really about being perfect at this point. You just have to be better than Trudeau, which isn't hard. And although I don't fully trust Pierre Polyev, I definitely trust him more to do a better job than Justin Trudeau because it's hard not to do a better job than Justin Trudeau. My dead cat could do a better job than Justin Trudeau right now. I mean, this this guy is just... 
he looks like he's out of it half the time too, right? He's just kind of like, I think it's almost like he's just kind of checked out. Like he's like, okay, I know I'm going to lose. Um, I'm going to drag my party down with me because I'm an egomaniac narcissist. And that's just going to be how it is. I think that the, the by-election in September that's coming up in Montreal, if he loses that, I still don't think he'll, he'll be, uh, I don't think he'll still be able to get it through his head that he needs to leave the party. His ego won't allow it to happen. He's going to stay through with it with this till the end, I think. What he has planned to, I mean, you know, he's got some trick planned to try to get some of his numbers back up. He's not just going to, he's not just going to stay complacent like he is right now. Eventually he's going to get desperate, right? Cause, but right now he does just seem checked out, right? Really? He, now he's just kind of like, yeah, we'll give answers. It's not election time. And then when election time comes up, it's going to be, okay, here I am. Regenerize or re, uh, re-energize for a campaign. And I'm going to give you guys some universal basic income or whatever he comes out with, or whatever scandal he makes up about Pierre Polyev to try to hurt his polling numbers. But, you know, I mean, the guy just, for now he looks checked out. And he's definitely weak on crime. He's weak on immigration. He's weak on policy. He's weak on taxes. We need a strong leader. And Justin Trudeau's not it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. What do you think about um, you know, Pierre Polyev's immigration? Do you think he'll actually be tougher on immigration than Trudeau? Do you think it'll be the same? Or do you think somehow it'll be worse? I always enjoy uh, reading and interacting with your comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe it well as well. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks for again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with another video.